out of order if or would it be surprising if a bishop either in speech or in prayer was hard to be casting out demons I have not seen the governor casting out demons in the prayer, but if she was praying in the church, not in a public rally, or if she was conducting a crusade and calling people who should be casted demons out, because normally how they do it, they call people, come forward, I cast demons out of you. I have not seen that anywhere where she called people who have demons so that she can cast them out. Or where were these demons? Thank you. Uh, I now invite Senator. Edwin Sefuna, to take your, to make use of your time. Sorry, members, I've spent four minutes, but uh, uh, that's it. I, I thank you, Honorable Chair. Chair. Uh, I thank. With your kind permission, Honorable Chair. Uh, my name is Morero, um, appearing together with Dr. Modomi, and with your very kind permission, Honorable Chair, there is one very simple issue that I want to address. And it pertains to the issue of hearsay evidence, and it relates to the conclusion that you've drawn that whatever the witness has, uh, is evidence, as regards the MP, <coughs> Mpuro Aburi, the Senator, and the CS Agriculture is hearsay. With all due respect, Honorable, uh, Honorable Chair, my understanding of hearsay is that hearsay is indirect evidence, and the evidence presented by Honorable DMK would be hearsay evidence if it relates to assertions that are made by another person other than him who is testifying. All these evidence relates to the assertions that are made by the governor. It is not evidence relating to assertions that are made by the MP, by the senator, or by the CS Agriculture. If he was testifying to assertions that are made by the MP, the CS Agriculture, or the senator, then that would be hearsay. But in this case, he is testifying to, a, to statements that, that have been played on video, statements made by the governor. So it is for the governor to disprove. So to that extent, Honorable Chair, with due respect, our opinion is that it is not hearsay evidence. Thank you. Hansard has recorded you. Hansard has followed these proceedings. It is up to Hansard to make a conclusion. Thank you, Chair. Yes, Senator Sifuna. Uh, thank you, Chair. First, I want to start by reading to the witness the definition of a public office under Article 250. Uh, Chair, 260. Chair, the definition, public office means an office in the national government, a county government or the public service, if the remuneration and benefits of the office are payable directly from the consolidated fund or directly out of money provided by Parliament. Having read that to you, Moishimiwa DMK, is it still the position of the Meru County Assembly that the position of ambassador of Meru Haslas is an office in the public service? With that definition in mind, is it still your position that the office of ambassador of Meru Haslas or patron of Meru Youth Service, doing no salary from the consolidated fund, is still an office in the public service? Yes or no? It's still my position that it's... Uh... You do understand that the Constitution is the supreme law. What the, the Constitution po says the is the law is the law. Is it still your position, even with that knowledge now, of what the definition of public office is, that this position of Ambassador for Mary Haslas is uh, a position in the public service? No. Thank you. 